last thing I was going to do today, I've got some anodized dog tags, and uh, I assume they're anodized aluminium. Uh, so I know that uh, you need a fibre laser for engraving metals, but I just wondered what the anodizing uh, would actually do uh, to whether you can use a CO2 laser. So I just chucked one in there, I got it roughly aligned and fired off the laser at about 25-30% I think it was, and uh, it's come out like that. Now what I've done is I've flipped it over and I've done the other side, and then I've attacked it with, uh, well I've used a file, um, a blade, and you know it really takes a lot to scrape this anodizing off. So you'd really have to do some damage to that before the uh, engraving is uh, is lost. Um, you know, I've never seen a dog tag get worn like that, and if it is, it's after an awful long time. Uh, so I don't see any reason really why I couldn't. Um, engrave these dog tags as well. Uh, as I say you can't do plain metals but this anodized one's actually come out okay. I can't remember which side I would do. I think I did one side at 20 and the other at 30 and one came out just a little bit better than the other but that's pretty clear. Um, so yeah I might actually try that and as I say that has been given some abuse to start degrading the metal. So it may well be an option to do these as well. Yeah, and finally for today, I just chuck some numbers uh, on one end, uh, quite small. There, you can see the laser pattern on there. But again, you know, pretty tough to scrape off. I'd be quite happy <laughs> with that. You know, it really is a sharp file and it's really not having much difference unless I really dig it in. But what on earth is going to be doing that amount of damage on a dog collar <laughs> to a tag? Um, so I think I'm probably happy with that, we'll just go with it. <laughs> 